Uh, hey, this is Ben Tate, and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the array tool in Max. And what the array tool does is pretty much makes a series of copies um, based on axis settings for X, Y, and Z. So let's just uh, take a look at uh, settings first before we get into an actual example. So let's just uh, create a sphere. Alright, and let's just move that up a bit. And we can make that a little bit smaller. Something like that. And I'm just going to align the pivot point to the origin by right clicking on the move tool and zeroing out the spinners. Alright. So to open up the array tool, go to tools and array. Alright. And now we have a bunch of options in here. Um, we have move, scale, and rotate on X, Y, and Z. Alright. And over here we have incremental and over here we have tools. So let's look at incremental. And let's just uh, turn the preview button on. And if you go up on the X here, you can see that's going to create uh, 10 copies along the x-axis and this uh, for incremental um, this number 20 here will be the distance between each object's pivot point along this line so you go with that's 27 units between each one whatever right and we can do this on multiple axes at the same time so you can see that it starts bending it out on the y or the z Similar to the uh, spacing tool, but uh, this is not using a path, so you have a little bit more uh, freedom to manipulate it, All right? And we can do this with rotate as well. So if you go up on this, you can see that's going to start rotating that on whatever axis you want, All right? And down here we also have scale, so you can see that's going to squash those down as they get farther away. Like so. Alright. Let's just put this back to the defaults. Let's just reset this. Alright. And over here we have total and um, you can click on these little arrows to activate uh, either move, rotate, or scale. So in this case over here, we put 100 in the X. This is going to be the total distance of our array. So in this case, we'll have 100 max units between the first object's pivot point and the last object's pivot point. All right? So say 210 units for the whole length. And same principles here control that per axis. Alright, and then if you take rotate, uh, same thing. How many de uh, degrees <coughs> per axis? And then scale as well. So what that does. So you might better find a use for that. And over here if you take off uniform, it's just going to zero out the uh, or Deactivate X or Y and Z so you only uh, can manipulate it on X. Alright? And down here we can choose copy instance of reference. Alright? Let's just do say something like that. And then down here we have a one dimensional array, two dimensional, or three dimensional. So let's just go down here, let's put something in here, and let's just give this some offset, say 50 on each axis, and let's just see what that looks like, so you can see what that did. Gave us our five copies and offset each uh, one in all three uh, axes there. All right. And if we take off this displays box, 
they would just display um, these as bounding boxes rather than the actual geometry. All right. So you can play around with these and uh, do some cool stuff. So suggest playing with that. And let's just actually take a look at um, some situation where you could actually use this for something. So I'm just going to reset the scene. And I just made a simple one earlier here. So Max just crashed, so let's just reopen that scene. Alright, so what we have here is just a simple pipe. And I just made a quick bolt here. So let's grab this guy. And if we were going to um, move these around here, you could do it the hard way by actually, you know, cloning one at a time or making a series of clones and trying to evenly space them, but that's really unnecessary, so let's just line this guy up where we want him. Say right there. And let's just push him forward. Like so. Alright. And now because we're doing a rotation, um, it's going to rotate around this object's pivot point. So if we leave it centered to the actual bolt, it's just going to do a bunch of uh, copies on top of each other. So we actually need to center the pivot point of this to the pivot point of the pipe. So let's just uh, go into the hierarchy panel. And I'm just going to drop this um, down to the origin. All right. Let's actually just move that guy back a bit. Like so. Alright, turn that back off. Alright, so let's go up to the ray. And in this case, we're going to use a rotation total. Alright, so I'm just going to activate rotate, and I'm going to put 360 degrees on the Z. And that'll just be uh, 360 degrees for the entire array. Whereas if we did this over here, it would be between each um, object. Uh, which we don't want, so let's just turn on preview here. And you can see that start spacing them, and you can just dial this up to get those as close together as you want. So let's do something like 24 and OK. All right. And now in here, you can see that evenly spaced those and took care of that whole thing for us. All right. So that's definitely a time saver. And then you can just come in here, you know, and just grab all this stuff. And just do a clone. And line those back up, and then you got both sides done. In a couple of minutes. Alright. So let's just look at another one here. Alright, so what I have here is uh, a railing section like this and just a post over here and say this was going to be like a gazebo or something that you could manually you know move these around and try to get them in um, evenly but um, that's just going to be a pain in the ass so let's just do it the easy way so I'm just going to select the post here and I have that uh, as a separate object. This is just grouped. All right. So with the post selected here, I'm just going to go into the top view, and we're also going to center its pivot point to um, our floor here. So let's go into the hierarchy panel, and let's just go up to the move tool, right-click on it, and we'll just zero these right out. All right. Turn that back off, and make sure that your object is actually centered to that same point, which it is. All right. So let's go up to the array, rotate, let's do 360, and we want 8 copies because we have 8 corners. So preview that. Alright, you can see that. Took care of that. So now what we'll do is the same thing with this piece up here, and we'll move the pivot point. So right click these spinners. And to tools, and array, and we still have the same settings here, so we'll just hit preview and OK. And there we go. And then we can just come in 
and say delete this one here. So that'll be a quick way of doing that. And note that um, if you're going to be doing this, you really have to pay attention to how you're modeling this. I mean, this railing section here um, is modeled to fit in here so that when it raises, it's not going to have any kind of like overlapping, you know what I mean? So you're not going to have the end of this sticking out over here, and then when it raises, it's just going to make a mess with it uh, interpenetrating itself. So yeah, when you're doing this, keep in mind that you'll be using the array tool and then try to set up your uh, first piece um, to the portions you want so that everything's going to line up when it uh, clones around the ring. All right. All right, so that's the array tool, and it's not going to solve all of your problems, but it can definitely help you out and speed you up. So I suggest uh, just getting in there and playing with some of the settings to see what you come up with. And uh, I guess that about does it for this one. Hopefully you uh, got something out of it. And if you have any problems or a question or whatever, just send me an email, benefentainonline.com. And you can also check out my site if you want, which is just benefentainonline.com. Um, and I have a few other tutorials on there, and I'll be adding more frequently, so check it out if you like. So I guess that about does it, and uh, thanks for watching.